How's it going, guys? Tonight, I'm going to do a full moon reading. We got a full moon in Pisces. So, uh, definitely a lot of my light people are going to be affected. But the moon is exalted in Pisces, which is a good thing. So, I'm hoping this is a good moon for everyone. It should be positive. I'm going to use Mystic Dreamer, which is a moon roll deck. That's one of the things, as you can kind of see. We've got the moon on there. So that's the deck I'm going to use to do a full moon reading. So kind of some things that are coming until the next moon. Um, some things to look forward to. I'm hoping it's positive for you all. Uh, but there could be some challenges. Anytime you're dealing with the moon, you're dealing with the subconscious forces and so forth. So let's kind of see what it has in store for everyone. I'm bring this down. Hopefully it's positive. I know we've been dealing with so many challenges. You know, every time I turn around, there's a shooting on the news, you know, with the, um, all the protests going on and everything. You know, it's it's very upsetting. And, you know, hopefully we get some uh, good moon energy. Definitely have your crystals charging and, um, you know, set your intention. That's especially what we want to do during a full moon is set our intention you know, for things that we want to manifest. So it can be a very powerful time for you guys. I feel like I'm going to have to shuffle a lot with this one. And definitely there's things you want to clear away. There's things you want to manifest. This has been a heck of a year. Every time we turn around, it's change, change, change. It's something is changing that we have to adapt to. Okay, I'm going to cut the deck. Flip it, see what's going on. So I do have the sun reversed. So as I kind of look at the sun reverse, I know some of you are dealing with challenging times where you're just not finding your joy, you know, and I know this is very hard. And this is one of the things we want to try to focus on. Um, we got to focus on some things right now. If we want to get any kind of equilibrium, you know, we want to focus on, you know, our gratitude during this time doing the positive affirmations we've got to raise the vibration i know there's a lot of dense energies going on right now that are bringing people down but we got to focus we got to get everything up right and then another thing i'm just uh the conflict you know i've got the five of wands you know the conflict that is going on people being angry and aggressive this is pulling us down you know into dense density you know we're all being affected even if everything is kind of calm in your little bubble, everything that's going on in the world still comes into us and penetrates and affects us. You know, even if you're on Facebook, you can see a lot of people arguing and so forth, people very frustrated, but it is also affecting families. You know, you may have in your family, you know, people are being impacted negatively and taking things out on each other. We may need to step back from those people and kind of get a breather you know, with everything that's going on. But as you can see, everybody's kind of going at it. That's that's the way things are right now. We gotta, we gotta kind of step back, you know, and, and brace ourselves for that. You know, we need a break from it. We may have to just be alone. And I kind of look at that. I've got the two of cups in the reverse position. So situations with certain friends or even in relationships, this is a time we really want to examine, you know, our relationships, our soulmate connections. You know, if you feel like there has been a wedge between you two, a lot of it is the conflict in the world going on, you know, in that everybody is so unsettled right now. It's very challenging. If, the, you know, if these relationships are worth saving, you know, set that intention for that, especially if you really want them to. But if, of course, you know, it's like this, you know, this kind of conflict, you know, then we kind of got to look at, you know, maybe this can't be repaired. Maybe it's time to purge that. So kind of think about that during this full moon. 
Now I have the page of pentacles in the past position. It is in the reverse position. So especially, you know, setting about that growth and that intention. I want you guys to really work on that. I feel like many of you are struggling with it as I kind of tune in to some of the people that are going to be viewing this, you know, really setting intention, you know, in positive ways to grow and so forth. I feel um, a lot of people have been coming in the group, you know, that they, uh, something doesn't feel right. I kind of look at that page of pentacles in the reverse position for those folks, you know, something doesn't feel right. Something feels very off. I'm not sure what it is. We're going to go ahead and tune into that with the full moon and really manifest that and, and pull it out of us. What is affecting us? Why do we feel off so much? But some of it is, you know, the energies that we are dealing with. We're getting some intense stuff in this read. I'd like to see something positive, spirit, because at the crown, I've got the devil. So as we're dealing with these dense energies and so forth, you know, there is a lot of uh, things going on that you know, very negative. It can feel like dark forces are against us during this time. You know, and this is this is why the light workers have to get out there, you know, and really listen to the call. You know, some of you spiritual warriors got to get out there and be bringing the light, you know, and that's really how we're going to combat this, you know, negativity that's going on. You know, it, we can't be, um, you know, necessarily throwing ourselves into the five of wands conflict you know, all this conflict that's going on, we got to do it with love. You know, we got to do it with light. We got to do it with peace. You know, we got to try to reach people in that way. Because if we resort to the conflict, you know, then how are we going to tell the difference who's the devil or not? So let's be light. You know, let's stay in the light path. And that's kind of what I look at the Knight of Pentacles, like delivering the pentacle and so forth. Pentacles are power. You know, and they are about seeds well planted. So I really want you guys to kind of look at what you want to manifest, what seeds do you want to be planting, or even when you're discussing with people, you know, one of the things when we're, when we're trying to spread the light is we're trying to plant positive seeds in people's mind. We want to help them. We don't want to fill them with negative seeds and so forth. We want to try to boost others and boost their spirits during this time, you know, because that's, that's really the way we're going to get there. Now, I do have in like the emotions position, I do have the lovers. Okay, this is good. But this is very different than the devil who chains the lovers. The lovers in this card are free and they are in a good place and they are in the garden. So there are some of you that may have challenges during this time with your relationships, but some of you will be able to heal. You will be able to break that conditioning of the devil and be able to get free of the change. So there is positive. So some of you that are watching this, yes, there are some of you that probably need to separate from toxic situations. Notice the devil is above and the two of cups is below. But others of you will be able to break that negative conditioning and be able to save your relationships. So as we look at the two, two of cups, you know, with the reverse, is this worth saving? I feel that's a message for some of you, especially in your relationships. Is this worth saving? Is this worth fighting for? Now, I'm kind of fighting when it comes to fighting for a relationship. I'm okay with that if two people are fighting. Oh, I'm sweating. Um, if two people are fighting for the relationship, awesome. Both of you fight for it. But if only one person is fighting to save a relationship, then we've got the problem. Now, then I have in the environment, the fool, you know, taking a leap of faith, taking a chance. There are some people that may be facing certain situations where trust is very hard. I always say trust spirit when I see the fool. You know, that spirit is not trying to lead you in a difficult situation and make it worse. As we are looking at the scope of the world right now and how everything is very scary, you know, spirit is not trying to lead us to a doom necessarily. I would say people are doing that to themselves. Really, we got to look at that. It's not that, you know, spirit's in charge. Do not get me wrong. But spirit is not trying to doom and gloom us. It's us doing it. Spirit is pulling all the stops, trying to awaken people. I want you to think about that. Spirit is try, trying to awaken humanity and find ways of bringing love into the equation. But, you know, spirit works through people. So we've got to do spirit's work if we're going to put good in there. But we got to trust spirit. 
The next card, which is in the hopes and fears, I will take this as a fears, is the Ace of Swords in the reverse position. Ace of Swords is a very negative card when it is reversed. We could be dealing with negative forces, even evil certain times. And we are definitely dealing with, you know, the light and the dark are in opposition during this time. So we really want to bring light in the picture. And even in your everyday world, um, that's what we're aiming for. And then I've got in the outcome, the two of pentacles in the reverse position. A lot of you feel like, you know, you are barely hanging on there. You know, you're juggling everything. You're trying to keep up. You know, you've got your work situation. Some of you are homeschooling kids. You're robbing Peter to pay Paul. You're trying to keep up, trying to hold on to your jobs, trying to pay your bills. You know, hang in there. You know, it's going to be a challenging time for a little bit. It will get better eventually. And I'm going to draw a few more cards in that, even though I've hit the outcome. I've got the Eight of Wands. Those that watch my videos know this is my COVID card. Make sure you are being safe during this time. This thing has not gone away. I know the Republican Convention has tried to talk about it like it's in the past position or even that they've got a handle on the situation. They don't. They, there's not really a plan in place. So we, as individuals, have to practice our own safety to save ourselves. We can't depend on others to necessarily protect us or give us the right guidelines. So wear that mask, you know, be safe, social distance, do all that. That's still going to be an issue. And I know some of you like the Four of Pentacles, you know, just watching the money. Yes, during this time, I want you to be careful until we get that stimulus check. Inevitably, it will come. I don't, do not want you guys to worry about it. It's not, it's probably everything with the unemployment and everything is not going to be as good as it was last time. But definitely is the time to kind of hold on to the Pentacles and everything. I'm going to go ahead and draw some Oracle cards. Let me put that back up. So we've got some challenges. It's a tough moon. It's, it's a tough moon. There's a lot of emotion. But especially, you know, when I think of the Pisces, you know, the Pisces person, you know, I definitely do feel, you know, they are dealing with a lot of sensitivity. You know, they, the Pisces is especially affected. Um, but this is still, no matter what, the, um, and I'm going to grab my Moonology deck actually for this. But uh, this, is, this is a good time to really purge some things really analyze those relationships and so forth. Um, it can be friends, family, anything, you know, we really want to do that during this time. But I do feel as Pisces is exalted that some people that have been dealing with challenges in their relationship have a shot at healing them. I do like the lovers being upright in the self position, which can be emotions and so forth. And this is funny. <laughs> this is not exactly the full moon, but I'm using the Moonology deck it's actually for the new moon in Pisces, meditate and contemplate. So definitely tonight, just really meditate on things, you know, meditate, you know, the Pisces, there's, um, it's ruled by Neptune. So, you know, dealing with illusions and really trying to part the veil and see what's going on on a deeper level is very important. It's kind of funny to draw a card like that. And then I just drew the full moon in Aries and it is a full moon this time. A fiery climax approaches so I definitely do feel like some of you are gonna have everything is gonna come to surface like that um, you, and I look at that five of wands you know some of you may encounter conflict over the next week you know where everything just kind of comes to surface like this and we got to deal with those challenges so try to not be pulled into the fray you know like the the five of wands can be see they're all kind of being pulled into the fray and so forth. We want to try to approach things from a place of love and peace. I think one of the misconceptions, people think of, you know, light and love and this and that. Yes, it's gentler, but people forget its power. And and I feel like you guys really need to remember that, that it is a power to come from that place because it's very um, creative. You know, love as a power is very creative and it's very constructive. And we can build on that in a positive way. So I look forward to it. I know we've got some challenges here, um, definitely. But just do that, you know, meditate on intention during this time. You know, really what you want to manifest. Really meditate on breaking certain conditioning, you know, and certain fears and worry that you have. And get to a place of peace. I know you can. Have a good one.